What's up guys, do you remember seeing my nebula in my last tutorial? Well I'm going to show you how to make it. Right, to start off with we're going to need a new document, this is 800 by 800 pixels with a 300 dpi setting. You can start off with filling the back, background in black, like I've already done here. Now we're going to add a new layer and fill that in black as well. Now we're going to go to filter, render, sorry noise, add noise. Now we're going to go around this setting with on Gaussian and monochromic ticked. Press OK. This will create our star layer. Now, you know it's a bit too much. Well, it's too much noise. It doesn't look like as it looks like. Well, noise. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. Or you can go to Command or Control on a PC, L. Now it's going to drive this slider to the left, right. Now I do it on my left and right, I swear. Now let's play around these settings till you get something you're happy with. That will probably do us for the sake of this tutorial. Just play around whatever settings suit you best. It'll be different depending on the size of the document. And now that looks good, it looks a bit starry, but I want to add some depth in the stars and not all the same size. So holding shift, we're going to create a um, new selection by using our selection tool. Now we're going to press command C and command V. This is made a new layer with the selection in it. Command T. For the transform option, I can go to Edit, Transform, Hold Shift, and just drag it out. Drag it out like a Canadian igloo. And that'll do. Now let's press Enter to set the document. And now we've got some bigger stars, but we can't see the layer underneath, so we're going to set it to lighten. Like so. Now we have some depth in the stars. Now what we're going to do is just going to cover that into a layer. We're just going to Shift click all those and hold the Shift key. Click on the folder option and this makes a new group for us. I'm going to call this one stars. Like so. Now we're going to create a new layer with a black and white option selected. We're going to go to filter, render, clouds. And that will give us that. Now in the new layer, on top of that one, we're going to go to under the paint tool, we're going to go to the gradient tool, like so. Now if we double click up here, we have our gradients. Now you can make a new gradient if you fancy, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to stick with this colours right here. I think the last time I used a nice pinky and green or blue or whatever. So I'll just press OK for this gradient. And now with this option selected, I'm just going to drag it across the page like so. And that's given us our gradient, which we wanted. Now on this layer, we're going to set it to overlay. And on the clouds layer, we're also going to set it to overlay. Now, you'll see that's effect on the clouds, and the stars even, so well, I'll try to fix that later on. So we're going to click on the new layer, make sure it's below the clouds layer, and we're going to get our brush tool, set it to white, make sure the feather, well, its hardness is all the way down to zero, it's going to reduce the size of it so we can control it more. We're going to take the opacity right down to below 10. I find 8 usually works good for the start of this one. And it's going to brush around like so. Now you'll see this isn't making much difference to begin with the start, but I'm sure I'll, it well, I'm not sure. I know I'll add up later on, so let's brush around like this for now. Now you definitely see that's coming through, it's just a bit of blue. We don't want it to be too sharp, so it's gonna take it nice and slowly and just increase your gradient, increase your opacity gradually. Now that'll do for a base layer, maybe a bit more out here. Like so. That'll do. Now we're going to go on our opacity and crank it up to around 19. Now, inwards, we're just going to brush around like this. Now, as you see, it's getting a bit brighter on the inside. Now, we're just going to keep cranking it up every little bit. So, 28 now. Let's keep brushing, keep brushing. Like so. Let's take it up to around 40 now. What we really want to get a nice effect is a nice pure white center, so just keep going up slowly bit by bit. Now for the center, I'm just going to crank it up to 100, just for sake of argument. There we go. That's personally how I create the nebula. But what we're going to do now is you might notice around the edge of a nebula, the stars are sometimes like discolored, giving them a green or blue look. So to fix that, we're going to shift click on these layers, hold shift again, make a new group. It's going to rename this nebula. Nebula. And now on top of this group, we're going to add a new layer mask, like so. 
And now, the clouds and the grid are affecting the stars, so what we're going to do is brush around in a black um, black brush tool around the bits we are coloured and we want to turn back into black and white. Like so. And because we're using a mass layer, if we want to go back and alter them, let's say we do this. Oh no! We can get the white tool, we get the white brush tool, not the white magic, not the white ring, and just brush like that. That brings our nebula back. The beauty of a mask tool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye, it's the bye bye song.